Hey, can someone tell me why guys consistently pick girls that look like they could eat an apple through a fence over me? And not saying I'm hot as, just saying that if you're gonna date someone that looks like a horse, you might have a bigger problem. So let me see if I got this straight. You're saying that guys have to pick between the person with the cool party trick or the person that is jealous of other people just because they can't get a date and it will bash them for the sole purpose of that. And then after all of this, still wondering why nobody wants to date you. Now, I'm no professional in all of this, but I'm pretty certain that bullying is a turnoff. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into honor slash nice girls, and if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. That'd be super duper awesome, because I just woke up today and found out we're finally at 65,000 likes, so I guess the next goal would be 75. Let's see if we can do that, okay? Let go. Girls are like apples. The best ones are at the top of the trees. The boys don't want to reach for the good ones, because they are afraid of falling and getting hurt. Instead, they just get the rotten apples that are on the ground that aren't as good, but easy. Also, the apples at the top think there is something wrong with them, when in reality, they are amazing. They just have to wait for the right boy to come along, and one who is brave enough to climb all the way to the top of the tree. You know, I honestly wonder if the person that wrote this thinks that they're the ones at the top of the tree. You know, I gotta say, out of all of the holy bumper sticker Batman kind of thing you got going on here with, like, the whole uh, caution signs, the sensi, the t Tinker Bell, and the Cheshire Cat, and all that stuff, the thing that's catching my eye the most is the fact that you have a whole tissue paper box lodged in your dash, like, just casually. Like, I, I am asking so many questions here. Y'all are weird. If you are a raging liberal, we have absolutely nothing in common. I smoke grass if you are not trying to meet in real life either. Leave me alone. <laughs> LOL. What the frick are y'all on here for? <laughs> validation? You know, as soon as I saw the word validation, I automatically had the thought, is this in regards to you getting matches and the person not messaging you? On the app where the girl is supposed to start the conversation? Seriously, that's how Bumble works. And like, like I, I don't know how or how many times people need to get this through their head. Like, one of the first things they have as their slogan for Bumble is that it's supposed to be where the girl is supposed to initiate the conversation. If nobody is messaging you and you haven't read that, you might want to get a different dating app. Like, in all seriousness, how do you sign up for an app and not read the slogan? And it's gotta be something like that, because I only see the Bumble stuff happen on the nice girl videos. My 26F, Sister Anna, 24M, married my friend Lance, 27M. He was the cool guy in our friend group. Handsome, mysterious, smart, and quiet. I don't know how he ended up with my sister. She is the total opposite. Loud, funny, and outgoing. She is better, though. Really beautiful. And when they got together, everyone said how good they looked. Anna seemed to be really in love with him all the time. She used to say how dreamy he was, how good he treated her, and how spoiled she felt. But Lance was always so stern and quiet. She would revolve around him at family gatherings, but he wouldn't engage that much with everyone but me and her. I was surprised when he asked her to marry him. My sister never took the wifey role too seriously, and she had a non-traditional wedding, and Lance went along with it. She made a bunch of rules that he agreed to, and then they moved into his house. Anna banned house utensils from the wedding gift list, and she doesn't work, didn't finish her studies, and they don't plan on having kids. My sister is pretty much only into her looks, and I didn't think Lance cared for that before. She is always on Snapchat or Instagram. I thought that after getting married, she would dress more appropriate since she used to use crop tops, blouses, dresses, and shirts that showed her cleavage, short skirts, or tight jeans, but she says that Lance likes her just fine. 
Last week was my dad's birthday, and we had a party. My sister and Lance came, and she was wearing a pretty short floral dress. Nonetheless, most of the men were looking at her, including my dad's friends. Lance was as stoic as always, and my sister came to my mom and I, and saying that she didn't know why he was so quiet, since he's not like that. He is not like that. What the frick? So I told her that if she didn't dress like that, he might take her more seriously. She got sad and sat quietly for the rest of the night, and I didn't think much of that. But a few days ago, Lance texted me and said that he would appreciate if I didn't comment on her wife's way of dressing again. Did I miss something? I'm not in love with him. How would you feel if a woman wanted only you and was untouchable to anyone else? Are there men out there who still even want this anymore? My other question is, where are all of you at, kings? No need to hide. Stop it. It's okay to come out of your shells. A few of us good women really need someone like you. Not all of us are gonna treat you like, isn't that just just like the whole r slash where have all the good men gone but with more character text stuff. And I, I can't say for multiple other people's experiences, but when you show emotion and then people react to that in a way that just hurts your emotions and pushes those emotions back into being bottled up, it doesn't really make you all gung-ho about opening up again. She's got wife written all over her. Some dudes can't read, though. The smart choice is in your friend zone, but you're all too busy chasing the guy that can't read. Ah, uh, yes, a crossover that has surpassed that of No Way Home. <laughs> nice guys and nice girls. And this actually had me kind of thinking of something that would be a fantastic conversation starter. Do you think that nice girls dating nice guys would be a good thing? Or would the world just become more of a trash pile than it already is? Hi, just hear me out, okay? Don't reply until I'm done, okay? You are three messages in, and he has not replied. I do not believe this will have to be an issue in any way, shape, or form, but let's go. Okay, so, like, I think you are a smart guy, and kinda cute, and was wondering wondering if you would be willing to get a coffee, or just hang out, or whatever. I thought we really had a connection when we met. I'm honestly super flattered, but I have a girlfriend. Sorry, I hope I didn't give you the wrong idea at Cooper's. LOL. Wow. You thought I was freaking serious. Like I'd ever date someone like you. I was totally freaking kidding. I can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> OMG. I'm sorry, but I can't even. Yeah, you know, just casually just saying, hey, hear me out before you say anything. Anything, and then just doing all that and then just saying, oh, but it was just kidding. Yeah, and he's totally it, huh? Have fun finding out the hard way that you're a grenade. I'm a girl. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't party every weekend. I don't wear three inches of makeup. I don't post sultry pictures of my bra showing online. I don't make out with loads of guys or other girls to get attention. Yes, we exist. Okay, so let me get this straight. For trying to meet people, we have to rule out other friends houses because parties uh it can't be a bar because that's where the drinks are can't be the smoke shop because it's a smoke so uh where are people supposed to meet you look you can not wear makeup not drink and not go to parties and still come off as a douchebag by posting this trying to flex that whole not like other girls mentality and thought process with this old post isn't really gonna get you far in life hey i'm really sorry about the other night i think just with seeing you for the first time and being really drunk it just and brought out an unnatural reaction. Honestly, I wouldn't have done anything like that sober. Hope it didn't actually hit you. Uh, for context, the caption goes as so. Bumped into someone I previously dated and rejected having a relationship with. She launched a glass at my head on New Year's Eve and had to reject another date post-apology. Never seen an attitude turn so quickly. If you are up for it, I could take you out for a drink and some food to say sorry. 
3 would be good to catch up uh, with a reaction like that. I obviously want to see you again. You threw glass at his face. I don't believe that is anything good. It's okay if not, though. But Happy New Year. Still, you launched glass at his face in a drunken rage. Please, I'll need scientific accuracy to point out the part of this that says, I love you. Happy New Year, ducks. <laughs> Here, don't worry. It was all done through intoxication. Probably deserved it. I'll have to pass on the drink. I think the past ends in the past, and we should leave it there. Happy New Year, person. I wish you the best for 2019. Yeah, you did deserve it. F you. You know, I'm fairly certain if that's how you act when you're intoxicated, I'm fairly certain that should be something that people should be well aware of so they know to stay a good ways away from you. I sent this guy a friend request two nights ago who I know personally. I checked his profile and my friend request wasn't there, which means he denied me. I sat there for a good 30 minutes wondering why. Why wouldn't he accept my friend request? What possible reason does this entitled jerk, oh, that's ironic, have to accept my request. I found out where he works. I'm going there for dinner tomorrow. I'm going to request he take my order, and I'm going to ask him why. Oh, uh, yes, that's totally a rational way to handle things. Oh, you didn't accept me as a friend on Facebook. Okay, I found out where you work, and I'm going to talk to you in person whether you want to or not. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up some wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications notifications. Let's see if we can get this video to that good old round fat stack of them thousand likes, okie dokie, but I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye.